Part 2. Azure Moon. Garland Moon. The Golden Deer's Plea. The Kingdom Army has reclaimed the Kingdom capital and plans to immediately begin restoring the country and its forces. But an unexpected request arrives from Claude, leader of the Leicester Alliance. Dimitri promptly responds to the request for aid, and he rushes to prepare the kingdom's forces. We have received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. We have only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. Their defeat at Grandeur severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them before they can recover. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital, then immediately go invade the Alliance. Their general is Lord Volkard von Arendel. He serves as regent to the Emperor. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grandeur. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arendel. I always suspected that Lord Arendel was behind the tragedy nine years ago. The timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. If Lord Arendel conspired with Cornelia, then what Kronja and the others said five years ago? Hmm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? If we turn our back on the Alliance, and then dare Daredru Falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions. In the Alliance to the northeast, and in the Empire to the south. That is true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Enbar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. Oh, maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We could ask them to help us attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie, when did you become so devious? <laughs> what would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. What do you think, Professor? Yes, I agree. I will admit that there is something to be gained for us as well, for when we eventually march south. But far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. We will arrange to head out at once. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Having allowed the Imperial Army to invade, the Alliance Army makes their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. 
the Kingdom Army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. The citizens of Daredru have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Are you sure about this? If Daredru were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for... Daredru won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh, yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape, after all. Yeah, for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. I wonder if our little ray of hope will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Grandeur, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Claude, reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the Kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here, and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Daredru and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnal, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Claude would risk everything on that belief. He has placed all of his hopes on us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. Here we go. Let's move!
The leader of the Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, there's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. I will not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rescue. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. I'll do my best. You're a big help. Let's clean up. Ready when you are. I'd be honored. Leave it to me. At your service. Keep our guard up. I'll cut through. What's my strategy? More 
fighting. Thanks for that. I won't stop here. With this strength, I can protect them all. Claude's nuts, asking me to protect the bridge. That's so much responsibility. But the guy's so helpless, I feel sorry for him. So, I'll do what I can to protect him. Army Supply Corps. Attacking now would be a fine plan. The subjugation of Deirdre is complete. We will be joining the main army now. Ah, they're showing up one after another. Nothing for it but to blockade the gate leading to the town. I don't want the enemy's numbers to increase any more. It's no good. We're surrounded. But I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. There's no other way. numbers. That was a big help. I'll go and cover our leader. Thank you.
burn until we meet again. Forgiveness. Another victim. Duty is your death. Back. 
Had to be done. This is the end. Turn the tides. Done. Onward. Amazing. <laughs> Feels good to fight for a cause. Grow as strong as I can. Let's finish this. You knew the odds. Old habits die hard. Ah! 
clever. I can't believe they pushed through to here. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off the leader of the Alliance. Ineffective. This will prove my loyalty. Luck wasn't with you. It's my duty. Had to be done. Never let your guard down. Ooh, nice! Just stronger. <laughs> it won't be in vain. numbers. One to remember. Uh. 
I'll cut through. I'd be honored. I must steal myself. Leave it to me. At your service. More fighting. Winning is what matters. I am prepared. Don't bother haunting me. You knew the odds. A tragic end. Nothing bites so hard as a cornered rat, eh? A flawless plan. strategy. Your very presence has foiled our plans yet again. Yeah! Yeah! Ready when you are. Let's clean up.
was the only way. What's the plan? All for our future. <laughs> Will this ever end? You would raise a weapon against your uncle. You've grown into a savage of a man, just like your father. You are rather calm for one in your position. Or did you forget that this is a battlefield? Perhaps this is no time for words, uncle. There will be time for that after we have settled things here. Do our hopes end here? Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia... No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. Then again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting... Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you are safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But... that ends today. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. The legendary bow, fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? 
If you're going to lead Fodlan, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Hold your horses there, Teach. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do, dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me, but she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on. I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes. All those who were close to my father knew, including Rodrigue. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? I don't know. It was just a thought. I am afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to! <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, Your Highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now. But the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor, and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family, 
I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor, who is successfully mobilizing the Knights of Saros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arian Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on.